Uh, as Marcy says, I'm Ben Edward. We're talking about conservatory and how to get the project set up and be really successful for the semester. Um, so here's like the basic of our college website. Uh, you can see like we have featured projects here, and you know those are top three most updated projects. Uh, to start a new project, as most of you are going to be doing, you have to make an account. There's a registration. Yeah. So the, the why the top uh, three projects? You need to have a screenshot to come to the top. To the, to, the, to, the, to the dashboard. So if you don't have a screen chart, then it doesn't work. Okay. So you go to the project page, and then there's this button called Add a Project. So this can be anything. Uh, it's just a title, a website, which usually we just put the same GitHub website. It's not the GitHub link, it's just the GitHub page where you can go download the source code. Uh, the wiki, which GitHub is really nice and has a built in wiki system. Uh, let me actually find that for you. And all that is, is you go to the wiki, you activate it, and you have a wiki for your project. So you can paste that there, then description. Uh, so. This is just a test thing, it's not actually going to uh, be an actual project. Uh, so then you go into the next step. And this is where you put the repository stuff. So most people in here use GitHub. Uh, if you want to use SVN and be archaic, that's your choice. Um, Portison. Yeah, it is a Portison. But yeah, so GitHub, you're going to get the Git read only link. And basically just cut and paste that into the public home address. And the repository web address is just right here up the top. Um, the same thing you really use for the original uh, website. So then you click on it, and then you can use the blog. If you have an external blog, like uh, WordPress, uh, Blogspot, you can go use that web address. Just make sure you put the RSS feed in there, or you can just use the internal blog system. So, OK. And this is probably because I already made a uh, project with some of that information on it. So, Let's go to the project here. So now you see it's, so there's a project called Bit Prospect. It's going to be what I'm working on, which I'm presenting on next week. Um, all the all your commits show up here. Uh, your blog posts and stuff show up there. Uh, any authors who are working on the project will show up under authors. If other people commit to your repository, there'll be a separate section there called contributors, which will pop up. Uh, yeah. So let's go back to the top list for a second. Now you can see how we have all these projects with smiley faces and go down Noble Straw Tracker. And that's the first one up top there. That doesn't mean it's the top project, it means the top it's one of the top projects with a screenshot. So after that we have Blue Mesh and Olympus. So to add a screenshot after you make a project, you just go down and only on the projects that you are an author on will show modify. This is just an admin view, so that's why it's coming from modify. So you can change uh, the regular information, the blog, and repository, or you go to screenshots. So let's say I want to upload a logo. OK. So with that logo, it bumps it up. Because it all is a simple check. So Upload a screenshot, even if it's just a simple logo thing, so that way we can fix your project. Uh, so, just some other things. Here's all the current uh, developers. Um, this list will be changing and updating as you make your accounts and other people get moved to past developers. Um, everyone who is in the past. Uh, current projects. And up here you can see the bars, so let's hopefully try to keep those as full as possible this semester. Uh, because now this is just only the active projects as opposed to all the projects that have been made. Uh, if you want to take a look at some past projects, good past projects. Um, goes down, you can see Peter's mobile no fire. Um, yeah, we made that. Yeah. So there's all that. And then there's this new feature what I made over the summer. It's called a task list. It runs off Django to do. Um, this isn't in place of your GitHub issues where people will be able to post your issues and find bugs and stuff. 
this is more like an internal accountability system. So that way you can say, okay, well, I have these three tasks. It's halfway through the semester, and I haven't met any of them. Then we can come say, oh, why are you meeting some of these tasks and do that. So to do that, you can create a new group list. So call it name the project. And the groups uh, I will be making this weekend after you all make your projects and stuff. That's more like an admin thing. So. Once the task list is in the group, anyone within the group can go in, add a new task, add a task, mark as completed, or whatever. So there's a the task list. So let's say uh, start code. Due date. Uh, this is actually a typically different thing than the regular Django to do. So I can say next week, um, and that should be fine. No. Um, to do this soon. So that's it, then you just go add task. And it shows up under uh, incomplete tasks. And then from there you can actually click on that. You can add comments, and anyone within the group can add comments, so that way if you're collaborating, there's like this little feedback thing where you can see you do that. Uh, then when you're done, just go complete, and apply changes, and it'll be moved to the <coughs> tasks. So there's that. And anyone with the admin, so all the mentors can go in and see uh, number of incomplete tasks versus number of total tasks, which that should probably change over to be a bit more uh, agreed. But that's about it. Um, and somebody just uploaded a screenshot. <laughs> okay. Are there any questions on how to use the system? Or do you uh, have so the more important thing, many of you might have been past developers or past projects. Please send an email, or better yet, create an issue in the uh, observatory website. You will take care of it immediately. Then we will have you pull up paper and look at the observatory issues. And yeah. uh, like what you were saying, part of the thing with the past people is these people can't log in just because of the way Django handles uh, active versus inactive flags. So if you're on here, uh, just shoot me an email, and I'll just switch over really quick. That's about it.